what is up guys back at it again i'm here to make you another project that is definitely guaranteed to get you that back end develop job once you add it to your portfolio so let's check out the app the app is a more marvel comics search app so it's getting this data from the official marvel api so what it does is it gets you the character the name the description about the character and an image okay and it goes further to give you all the comics ever created about the particular character over the years so you can see the comics and you get this little cool animation etc etc so definitely this is a good dive into how apis work and how you can use css uh, to properly render back the data you get back from a particular api so let's try something else though was my favorite is my favorite character so let maybe let's do yours let's search for let's say the hulk the hulk the hulk the hulk so okay let's give it a bit of time to load up so as you can see loading character you get that cool animation uh which changes with states depending on the progress of the search so you see the Hulk caught in a gamma bomb explosion while trying to save the life of a teenager. Bruce Banner was transformed into the incredibly powerful creature called the Hulk. All too often misunderstood, etc, etc. As you can see, you get back the image, the description, everything. And all the comics, of course, all the comics since even 70 years ago, this Marvel API is really rich in content. So definitely you remember the Immortal Hulk, you remember the Incredible Hulk, etc, etc etc so you can do a lot more with this api and by default as always the code is always on my github repository my github profile is username fortune.so if you haven't followed me here then you are really 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 not serious definitely follow me on github so that you can always get access to all the source code to these projects immediately that i i push to that remote repository and if you haven't subscribed be sure to like and subscribe it really helps out the channel and me as well so to do this all you have to do is just download the zip file this project has no dependencies no dependencies at all so you don't have to run anything with composer just download this and then just visit developer those marvel yeah developer.marvel.com where you need to get your very own api keys because right here i've created a folder known as connections and in each and every folder uh there's a place for you to insert your public and private key which you will get from the marvels your marvel account once you've created a developer account because in the code that i will push to github these keys will not be included because I don't want you exhausting my requests and probably getting my account banned for making too many requests. So I will not include my own keys. So definitely get your own keys and just head over to this connections folder and make sure you change it for each and every uh, file. I've made it very convenient for you guys. Okay, that's it. So developer.marvel. Okay, let's reload that. Okay, really? Just hit over. Just you can even Google search Marvel API. Marvel's API. Creating an account is free, and you get like thirty thousand requests on your free free tier. So it shouldn't be that much of a problem. And running this, all you need is a, a server, so definitely something like Apache, which obviously you get from your local ZAMP development server. Okay, this is the website you want to visit. So just visit this website, create an account for yourself, and once you create an account, you'll be able to get your own API keys. Okay, so that was definitely that was it for today's video. If you'd like to see a total series where we build this out from scratch, I'll definitely love to hear from you. So head down to the comment section and be sure to let me know. 
okay so that's it for this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one when we build something awesome we'll be starting a new tutorial series on git and github so be sure to be on the lookout for that because i've realized i use a lot of git and github on my channel and some of you guys may just be struggling because you are not aware of how to do uh several things in github so in git itself and obviously associating it with the host like github okay so we'll definitely do that in our next tutorial so for now